every time we put out a story, we ask you what you want to hear about next, and the overwhelming response has been nuclear. So let's talk about it. When you think about nuclear power, you might think of Homer's day job on The Simpsons. Or perhaps it's the international nuclear disasters that make headlines, Chernobyl or Fukushima. But the truth is, nuclear power is already part of everyday life for much of Canada. And some say it could be the answer to helping us lower emissions and mitigate climate change. Nuclear power got its start in Canada about 60 years ago. And today, plants in Ontario and New Brunswick supply about 15% of our country's power needs. These large nuclear plants produce a reliable source of baseload power with little to no greenhouse gas emissions using a uranium-based fuel. In the next 10 years, we could see more nuclear reactors coming online in the country, but they'll be smaller. These so-called small modular reactors, or SMRs, can provide up to 300 megawatts, enough to power 300,000 homes, so could power remote communities that now rely on diesel. They're already gaining steam in Ontario and both Alberta and Saskatchewan are exploring the idea. If you look at our power production system right now, we're still fairly heavily reliant on fossil fuels as a source of production. And so as we move to um, a scenario of net zero electricity production, we're going to need to look to other sources. So nuclear clearly has a lot of potential, but what are the risks? Canada has been in the nuclear power business since the 1960s, one of the first countries in the world uh, to produce nuclear power. And we do have an uh, exemplary safety record. The Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission works with operators to ensure international safety standards are met. One of the things we actually do uh, is we do an assessment uh, of each nuclear facility, not only on a regular basis, but then each year we produce a report card on how well those facilities are doing. And one of the things being monitored is the radioactive waste that nuclear plants produce and store. Velshi says Canada still needs a permanent solution for that waste. Now, while some scientists say that nuclear power with its reliable energy outputs and low emissions is the answer to mitigating climate change, not everyone is convinced. Nuclear is not, not only not the answer, I think nuclear is actually a negative for uh, climate mitigation. Romana says the price tag on nuclear builds and the longer construction timelines will hold it back in the race to improve emissions. The climate challenge means that we have to reduce our emissions as fast as possible and at as low a cost as possible so that we can do it really fast. Nuclear fails on both the second and the third count. So is nuclear power the silver bullet we need to get to net zero? It's clearly a complicated conversation, but with the push for nuclear on the prairies, it will be something we'll hear a lot more about in the coming decade.